Did the voice actor for Master Chief just reveal the release time frame for Halo Infinite? And his thoughts on the story as well. That and a lot more, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here. Recently, Steve Downs, the voice of Master Chief, did a podcast interview with a YouTube channel, Four Guys with Quarters. In this hour-long interview, they had a chance to chat with Steve Downs and talk about his experience as Master Chief, as well as a little bit about as much as he could about Halo Infinite. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as a ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So in this video, there were six main takeaways from this interview. One is the release time frame that he mentioned for Halo Infinite. Steve Downs' thoughts on the plot. Apparently there's more to come for Master Chief. How did COVID affect the recording process? Has Joseph Stanton's return to Halo affected the direction in any sort of way? And also the fun thing about how Steve Downs got the job as Master Chief. So let's start off with the big news, the reveal of the time frame when he expects Halo Infinite to release. He says this in the interview. Everything seems to be on track now for a November uh, release on Infinite. Boy, I, I know the understatement of the gaming community would be that I can't wait. It's going to be outstanding and I have been able to see some of the visuals uh, as they have been, you know, sort of updated and reconfigured and whatnot and it looks awesome. Now this might be just like the worst kept secret possible when it comes to the release date of Halo Infinite. All signs point to November. One reason is because with MCC, season 10 is the last season that's going to be released for the Master Chief Collection and that's going to set us all the way up to November release release date for that season. When the release time frame of 2021 was revealed, Bonnie Ross actually sent in a tweet saying, hmm, doesn't somebody have a birthday that year as well? That's because on November 15th of 2021, it will mark 20 years of Halo as a franchise. And game releases typically happen on a Tuesday, which would make it the 16th of November for 2021. So, I think all signs point to November 15th for the release date. Obviously, it could be off a day or two, but I think right around that week sounds about right. And Steve Down sounds very confident about a November release time. Obviously, knowing the release time frame of Halo Infinite is great and all, but how is the game? Well, they actually give him some questions and Steve Downs goes into his thoughts of the story overall. You're going to love the storyline. I, I really can't reveal anything in that regard uh, other than to say that i i love the direction that it's gone as far as the plot is concerned i i don't think you're going to be disappointed I, I certainly hope not anyway because a lot of people have worked very hard and uh, as you know there was a, a, a delay uh i think they've made the best use of that time uh to to bring the game to where the fans expect it and um it, it's going to be uh, i can't wait for it to come out and for everybody to see it this also kind of falls in line with what Joseph Staten said about what 343 created about Halo Infinite and saying that what they have there is something really special. Obviously, these guys have a form of bias because they're, they literally have their hands involved with making the game. Though, again, just having another point of view coming from the story perspective, like they talked about Halo 5 in this interview as well. And Steve Downs talked about how the story was interesting. He didn't give it as much praise as we say what, what we just heard for Halo Infinite. So just more reassuring, which is great to hear. So that's not all. Apparently there's more to come from Master Chief. From the story perspective, you know, that's why I was so excited when Halo 4 came around because we were going to take these characters a little further than they had gone before. And, uh, uh, and, and I still think that work isn't done. Uh, there is still more that can be done uh, if there's interest, uh, you know, as we, as we go into the future. Well, obviously this context of the question was more involving the growth of Master Chief and Cortana as a whole, but from what it sounds like that they're leaving themselves open-ended at the end of Halo Infinite's story to play out some more Master Chief stories, possibly grow on Master Chief as a character as well. So if anyone's thinking like Master Chief's gonna die at Halo Infinite, that's not gonna happen. Or it sounds like anytime soon, which I'm all for. I mean, Master Chief is kind of like the face of Halo. You can't really have a Halo game without Master Chief. I mean, it's still been done previously with Reach, but 
Just something feels more like home when Master Chief is the main character of Halo. So this next section we go into is talking about the recording process with Halo Infinite. Obviously with COVID hitting, it really affects the ability for people to work together. But just like everyone else during 2020 had to adapt to working from home and for an acting point of view, that actually makes things much more difficult. And Steve Downs goes into this within the interview. Sometimes I, I'll hear, uh... Uh, you know, an, another actor's lines uh, as, I mean, I certainly see them. I see the entire script. Uh, and sometimes it's beneficial to actually hear their interpretation uh, of the line that that'll affect how I will, you know, do mine. Sometimes I get to see visuals. Um, they're usually pretty primitive uh, in, in, in terms of their, you know, they're not anything like what you're going to see when the game is finally done. Uh, but it's enough for me to get an idea of what the action sequence is, especially if it's an action sequence. It gives me, uh, you know, a chance to see how the other characters are reacting. But a lot of times, to be honest, I would say most of the time, it's really a conversation between the director and and myself. And, and we bounce off each other to, uh, you know, get some sense of if, if we're giving the right performance or not. Well, it's good to hear that when they are doing the voiceover work for Halo Infinite, that, you know, they're at least getting some form of direction, which is super important. You can't just leave an actor to go, hey, read this line with not any context or understanding of the situation. You need some direction so then you can actually understand what's going on, especially with vo voiceover, because you're just in a booth by yourself, essentially. Now, will this cause any kind of issues when it comes to the connections and voice acting and performances as a whole? I don't really think so. Though in this interview, Steve Downs does mention that one scene in Halo 4 with Cortana and Master Chief kind of split ways, they actually recorded in the same room together. They kind of play off of the energy of each other, which acting is so much emotion and just human connection that that stuff is kind of necessary. So it's gonna be really interesting to see if they have any of those kind of emotional moments in Halo Infinite's original story at launch and how those will play out. I mean, we're in certainly unique times and, and they certainly require unique solutions. Now we know in August of 2020, Joseph Staten joined 343 to help out with the development of Halo Infinite. Now remember, Joseph Staten said he did like what 343 put together for Halo Infinite with the gameplay and story as a whole. But certainly jumping in as one of the guys steering the ship for Halo Infinite, he definitely has some creative inputs. I mean, he's the guy who basically wrote the universe of Halo to start out with. And they asked him the question is, with Joseph Staten joining 343, does that mean that there's been any change in direction or any kind of major changes that have taken place since him joining? And this is what Steve Downs had to say. No, uh, I haven't worked directly with Joe uh, since he came on board in, in this new capacity. Um, I know he, all, all I can tell you is, is he has been very well received and uh, had a lot of great uh, I input into, you know, where I Infinite was. And uh, I, you know, everybody's really enjoyed having him being, you know, it's great to have, you know, somebody from the old days, you know, being back, uh, you know, uh, uh, giving their two cents in it. So, uh, all, you know, I personally, I have not had the pleasure. I hope uh, that, you know, once the game comes out and, you know, we do a little, some publicity on it, that kind of thing that I'll, because uh, I haven't seen Joe in a very long time, but uh, I, I know he has been extremely welcomed and valuable in, in terms of uh, uh, directing the game in, in the capacity that he has. This is very cool insight to the development of Halo Infinite. So we're seeing that like Joseph Satan joining doesn't really change how Halo Infinite is being done. It's not like, oh, now they bring back classic Halo or anything like that. Uh, because Joseph Stane sta said previously that he liked where 343 was going with Halo Infinite, which is super reassuring to hear. I think Joseph Stane joining 343 is more just because he finished up with Tell Me Why, and then Chris Lee got booted out really just because of, you know, he didn't meet deadlines, he didn't meet the demands that were requested by Microsoft. When that happens, at that kind of position, at that kind of job with these highest stakes, you're probably not going to lose your position, sadly. With Joseph Stane joining the team, it sounds like it's been a pretty good experience, which is very reassuring as a Halo fan myself that this game is going to become something special that we're all going to hopefully enjoy. 
And this last section kind of goes into something a little more interesting while outside the game is how did Steve Downs get the job of Master Chief? So I was in Chicago at the time uh, working on the radio, um, uh, do, doing a radio show and also doing voiceover. And Bungie, as, as you know, or I assume you know, was based in Chicago at the time. And Marty O'Donnell you know, used to listen to me on the radio. And one day he called me up, uh, I actually threw my agent and and wanted me to voice a character in this small little game they were doing. <clears throat> it was called Septera Core. It was this little PC game and I had a minor role in it. It's not a game I recommend you go try to find <laughs> because it's pretty primitive, as was my performance. But um, it did establish a relationship with Marty and I and uh, probably a year later he called again and said, we're, 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 you know, have a new game we're working on. I think you would be right for the character of Master Chief. And, you know, one of those strange uh, twists of fate, uh, as a voice actor, as any kind of actor, you're always auditioning, uh, you know, for parts, most of which you don't get, the vast majority of which you don't get. Um, the role of Master Chief was the only character, the only role I ever booked th that I never auditioned for. Uh, Marty just knew that I was, you know, he had it in his head that I would be, you know, the right fit for this. And we just went into the studio and started doing it. Just an interesting little tidbit about that. Apparently they had a bit of a working relationship with Marty O'Donnell. Marty O'Donnell was like, I like that guy's voice. Let's have him be Master Chief. And it's funny that like, yeah, like you mentioned about being a voice actor or just actors in general. You try so hard and audition so many times, get turned down so many times that when you finally get like the role of your life, right? Like Steve Downs mentions, it just kind of comes naturally to you, which is just so weird to think about. If you guys missed any content from me recently or been out of the loop for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.